Welcome back everyone, this is chapter 24, we are going to learn about iSCSI storage server setup. To set up a storage server, iSCSI storage server, we need the package target CLI. In this step by step guide, we are going to see how to search for the target CLI package and how to install the package and what are the changes want to be done for the firewall rules and how to create the uh, LAN, any one of the file system LAN or in, in, in any one of the device LAN, okay. Once it, uh, the LAN was created, uh, let us see how to provide the permission to access that LAN, okay. In next tutorial, we will be covered with the iSCSI initiator, the client side setup. So in this tutorial, only we are going to cover the storage server setup. Let us see how to do that. Now, let us see how to search for the package and install the package. To search for the package, yum search target CLI. To install with the package yum install target CLI. If you proceed with the hyphen Y so that it will not ask for the option whether you want to proceed with the installation or not. It's a manual method. This one is automated method. Just you can proceed with the hyphen Y so that it will install the required package and dependencies. Okay. Once we install with the package we can get the command called target CLI. For, to create the storage devices by step by step, we need to first issue the command target CLI. Once we uh, issue the target CLI command, we will get a good command line interface to create the target CLI. Here we can list just by list ls, put the ls so that it will list everything. If, uh, if some storage is already created, we can uh, get the information about whether it's created or not here. And one more thing, the back store, uh, inside the back stores only, we are going to create a block device. If you are going to create a uh, LAN using a uh, local physical disk, it will be going into block. If you are going to create a file IO, file IO means just you are going to create a file uh, and it, the file will be act as a LAN and it will be shared among the client servers. Okay. Now let us see how to create it. There are four steps to create a uh, LAN well, first first step is to just point the device first just point the device then we want to create the iSCSI uh, IQ1 uh, once the iSCSI IQ1 created we want to set with the ACL so that ACL is set uh, the uh, particular range of the uh, only the particular range of the machines can be accessed the, that LAN uh, once done with the ACL we can create the LAN okay there are four steps let me show you how to create the back stores first 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 of all, we are going to create a file IO type of device here and next I will show you how to create a LAN using a, a physical disk. To create a file IO type, just you want to type the command backstore. If Even though you are going to create a, a physical disk, you want to come inside this directory. Uh, to create a file IO type, backstore, file IO, then create. If you don't know about the command, what are the commands available inside this location, you just just you type slash backstore. If you are going to type here tap tap, you will get some of the commands. But this is uh, it's in uh, the current directory is just root inside the root of the target CLI command line. So it will give a different commands. If you want to know about the available commands inside the uh, file IO or block store, you can just press by pointing the location and just press tap tap here backstore file io now you press the tap tap so that you will get uh, get the available uh, commands here we have the command called create to create the uh, location of the device okay to create the location of the device just backstore file io create then tap tap you will get the name also so here uh, i'm going to create uh, file IO type instead the file IO, file IO type. Uh, so let me find the name is equal to uh, rel7 file IO. Okay, file IO and it want to be a file or device is equal to it's a it's not a device, it's a uh, it's it will act like act as a device, but it's a file. So I'm going to save this disk under the uh, root roots home directory uh, rel. 7 file io okay this has been oh sorry you want to proceed with the size how much size you want to be created 500 mp this will create the file if you come and exit and uh, check under the uh, under the location of roots home directory slash root the file will be created this file will be acting as a 
physical disk to uh, in the client side if you are going to mount the uh, uh, mount this one in the client side the client will look like uh, the client will uh, see this as a physical disk okay and once you uh, created with the disk you want to come back to the iSCSI iSCSI create here also you can use the command create cre uh, tap tap uh, so that press the tap tap you will get the, all the available commands create just you if you are going to create a automated name for the iSCSI uh, IQN you don't want to mention with the names uh, if you want to manually create you can create it IQN hyphen uh, icon uh, dot 2017 hyphen something or if you want to create it automatically just press enter so that it will choose a name automatically here we can get the IQN which created automatically okay so if you don't want to create uh, use a locally or local one just we can delete this to remove that iSCSI delete and the name iq1 okay so that it will delete the uh, that uh, create automatically created iq1 now let me create it as a manual method iSCSI create iq1 hi dot 2017 hyphen 01 now Linux geek videos geek videos dot com dot rel 7 dot x86 it's not a compulsory one if you want to give this name or you can choose your own defined name in this format okay serial number is just I am going to use one two three four five six eight nine zero okay just press enter so that it will create the IQ one fine once you done with the iq and uh, disk and the iq and if you put ls you can see the created information we, uh, in above we have not we can't able to see that information inside the back store and the iq uh, now we can see that the rel 7 file io has been created under the root rel 7 file io with 500 mp and the iq has been created under the iq okay now we have done with the two steps once we create with the iq one next step is we need to create the acl let us see how to create the acl to create the acl we need to navigate to the location iSCSI. just we can cd cd iSCSI and iq one we have created and tpg1 okay under this location we need to create the acl for the created uh, the iq one acl to create the acl we need to uh, use the command acls create and which range of network want to be allowed to access this iq1 this disk so uh, just i want to point to any, any one of the client my client is here one of the sender seven client uh, to know the uh, initiate a name from the client side we need to cat the file etc cat etc iSCSI initiate a name okay this name want to be copied iq1.19 94 okay this is client side just copy the initiator name and paste here press enter so the acl has been created now just i have allowed the only one client machine to access this iq one okay the query which uh, made by the client machine the send os 7 client machine will be sent to uh, it will be received from this server received by this server and it will log in allow to log in the client side authentication okay so let me show you how to create the LAN now to create the LAN LAN create and point the device which we have used in the first step that is under uh, backstore backstore file io rel7 file io okay once you press enter it will be created the LAN has been now created we can see the IQN has been created and the ACL has been created and the LAN has been created once we're done with creating the LAN we can see uh, every good picture of this backstore inside the backstore it's created with the file IO and it's created with one of the IQ one and the ACL has been created only for the one of the client machine and the LAN has been created LAN 0 has been created using the file IO one of the location under the root rel7 file io okay once you're done with the, all the configuration changes once you want to navigate to the you want to come back to the root directory root directory is this 
uh, the current location I am and just you want to do one thing save config before exiting you want to enter the command save config so that you what are the configuration changes you have made will be changes uh, it will say the change to this file it's a json format file it will be saved here even though you are not going to save it while we are exiting it will save so it's good practice to if you want to make the changes uh, in between any of the activity you can do the uh, save config option okay the same step will be carried for the uh, for the physical disk also let me show you how to create the icekz disk using one of the physical disk we have sdb okay to create that same as the same step backstore backstore instead of file io we are going to use the block create sd create and the name will be of oh, physical physical uh, sdb okay and the device will be dev and the dev is equal to dev sdb okay you don't want to be read only or uh, uh, read only method or uh, uh, it want to be read and write if you are going to provide without the read only option it will uh, make the default as a read only so that we need to provide with read only is equal to no false okay false sir so the block device has been created once we are done with the block device as usual we want to create the uh, iq on here i scsi create iq on or you can provide with a automatic create option one okay this is new one i have created fine once we're done with the iq and we need to navigate to the iSCSI iq and name which we have created now it's iq 2000 okay tpg1 here we need to create the acl for this acl create the same machine want to be allowed so i'm copying the initiator name okay press enter the ACL has been created you can see the ACL has been created and the LUN now you create a LUN LUN create backstore block physical SDP okay press enter so that the disk will be created we can see the disk has been created fine the it's using the block device dev SDP okay the name was physical sdb thus we can create a physical using a physical disk the file io and the physical disk is the same steps but only the location will be under block device if you are going to the physical disk you want to create with a physical disk you want to navigate to the block uh, the same time if you are going to create with a file io the local file system you can create with, create with any one of the location okay so now the step is to uh, just we need to go to the client side and do a query and log into the iSCSI server. Next tutorial, we can see how to mount this created file system under the uh, client side. Okay, please subscribe to our channel by uh, clicking on the right GNU logo so that you can you, you are not going to miss any other tutorial from Linux Geek videos. Thank you, thank you for watching.